So you might be wondering why I have this Starbucks in my head, but I woke up with like a huge bump on my head yesterday. Can you guys see? You can totally see it. It was way worse yesterday. So I was wrestling with my little cousin and I hit my head and I woke up and it was like this huge welt on my forehead and I was supposed to film this video yesterday, but I was like, oh, this is just not gonna work. This, this needs to go away. So please disregard the welt on my forehead. And I also got my eyebrows microbladed on Friday. So they're looking a little bit crazy right now because they're healing and they're dark and they're like a little red. So I'm a little bit of a mess this morning. But first and foremost, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for six million. I was live on Instagram while I hit it and it was so exciting. I was with my little cousin and my aunt and it was just a really awesome experience. So I wanted to say thank you guys so much. I'm so unbelievably grateful for all of you. I'm just so unbelievably blessed and thankful and I'm announcing a big giveaway this week so make sure to stay tuned for that because you guys deserve it and it's going to be the biggest one I've ever done yet. So if you didn't already see the title today, I am going to be doing a Patrick Star makeup tutorial. He is one of my favorites on YouTube. I have loved him for so long. And when I saw this whole trend of videos going around, I knew I really wanted to do it. And I was torn between him or Nikki because personally I love both of them so much and I love how they do their makeup. But when I went on Patrick's channel and I saw his full coverage makeup routine, I think it might be two years old at this point, I just remember being in awe of like how many layers of products and powder he used and it still looked so flawless. So since that day, I've honestly wanted to try out that exact routine just to see what it would look like on my skin personally. So today is finally the day. So I'm gonna pull up his video and I'm gonna follow along with him as we go. And a lot of the products that he uses are not cruelty free, but I did have a lot of them in my collection from a couple of years ago. So I just wanted to give a heads up for anyone that is fully cruelty free. Um, some of the products that I'm using are not cruelty free, so just wanted to let you guys know. All right, so let's watch this video. Hey guys, it's Patrick Stone. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a full coverage foundation routine. It's been a while since I did one. The last one that I did was super old, super janky janky.com. But today I present to you this full coverage beat face tutorial. My skin looks very smooth. It does look smooth. Say that I do a lot of steps. I cover everything from foundation, concealer, powder, priming, even shaving. If you guys want to see more, make sure to subscribe. All right, you guys. So do we see my skin? Like this is the before, the after. The before, the after. <laughs> the before, the after. And my skin. So I'm going to skip past. I've watched this video multiple times, but I'm going to skip past the part where he does talk about the shaving. So although I do shave my face, and if you guys want to see that video, I'll link it up here. Um, I'm going to go right into the foundation routine today. I know he says in this video that he uses the Nivea Post Shave Balm. Um, he doesn't show himself using it, but he said that he did use it. So I'm just going to use it really quick because I do have it. This is the sensitive skin one. This is so old. I remember when Nikki mentioned this and everyone went crazy over it. It smells like a man, but it really does work. Oh my god, I swear this bump hurts so bad. It was so much worse yesterday, but I swear. I had to cancel my plans. I was supposed to hang out with my best friend yesterday, and I was like, I have a welt on my forehead. I look like I just got beat up or something. Now to the fun part, foundation. Yes. I'm actually a couple of different foundations that I love. I love the Air Flash. I use this in the Power of Makeup video. I like to take my Dior. We're just gonna spray it. And spray this, make sure you shake it. And then I'm gonna take a Morphe M427 brush and just apply this on my skin. I like to work with building layers. I feel like it's super Hold on. important. I have a similar brush. Where did I put it? I have a similar brush. This one is a Sigma, and he's gonna blend it in. That way you're not getting a cakey face. So this is already the first layer of my Dior Air Flash foundation in the color 500 with my Morphe M427 brush. Covering up that welt. You can still see it. I woke up and I was like, really? The one time I've ever woken up with like a bump on my face and I was at home at my aunt's with my little cousins, like, typical. Typical. You can look it up and call a Mac store. They don't sell this at Macy's. You, you have to don't. find it at a certain Dang. Mac store. But I'm gonna take this on my M439 Morphe brush. I'm going to apply this on my beard area. 
You see that? I honestly don't have patience to color correct. I know it's the best thing to do, but for me personally, I don't have time to do mess with orange color correctors and whatnot. This is so full coverage, it works for me. I'm gonna work my way up, and then I'm going to just pat this on my hyperpigmentation areas. I'm gonna put this on my cheeks. I'm not gonna really go under my eyes because that's for the concealer. And then I will take the remaining and I will just put it on my mustache. And that should cover the most of it. So this is what it should look like with just the liquid and the cream. I'll pop in my contacts and we'll move on to concealer. We didn't do the forehead. I'm gonna do the forehead because I blew out. This one I had to buy, I didn't have this. I like to just pat so I get the fullest coverage ever. Like I said before, this tutorial is not for everyone. If you guys want to know how to get a full cake face drag, they only have the color like too. They didn't have number one, which I probably needed. Drag queens wear a lot more than this, but if you guys want to look glamorous and fun, this is definitely for you because I, I love makeup. Who doesn't love makeup? It's good to get right here too on the inner corner so you don't neglect any of the darkness there. And I'm just going to just pat this. You see, I'm just patting as yeah. close to the lashing as I can, and I'm just going to bring it down. I'm gonna put some down the nose, above the lip. Damn, that's a lot of makeup. <laughs> and then on the chin. I'm gonna put some on my, right here on the forehead just to give me that RuPaul glow. You see, I'm smiling like this, like when you see your friend you don't like. You wanna smile like this and just make sure you just allow your cheeks to guide you. And I'm not bringing my, my concealer all the way back because I don't want my face to look wider. I want to concentrate light on the center of my face, which is why I'm putting a lot of... I feel like mine doesn't look like his because I have... My concealer was too dark. So I'm taking my most favorite brush ever. I've mentioned this in every Close single enough. video. This is the more... I'm going to take my Dior foundation again. And I like to use this as a blender. Like I said before, it is so micronized. I like to spray it. And you see how I applied it on the outskirts of the concealer. I'm going to blend it with the Morphe G2 brush. And I'm just pouncing, do you see that? I'm just pouncing. I'm just pouncing and I will go on the side and just pounce. And this will allow me to have a smooth transition. Sometimes it's hard to blend cream, which is why I like to add an extra layer of that spray. See, I am going up, but that's just the remaining product. Now this is what you call snatched, okay? I snatched my damn face with creams, liquids, and a little bit of magic, and a little bit of a flick of the wrist. Mm -hmm. Next, immediately, try not to make too many facial expressions, I'm gonna take my Airspine Cody Powder in the powder puff. And I found a little powder puff. I'm just gonna blend under my eyes, because I don't want it to crease. Immediately, because I don't want it to go anywhere. The airspin that I am using is the translucent extra coverage. I get so many questions on that. I'm gonna link it down below to where you can get it, but I like to take a powder puff. I like powder puffs too, they're amazing. I'm just gonna take this and really press it on my cheeks. That way, again, something so micronized will give me that smooth effect. And the reason why I'm pressing powder, a lot of people ask me, why do you bake? Why do you like put that on? It's really gonna ensure the longevity. And let me tell you, bitch, you can go swimming with this. I went to a pool party on 4th of July. You were splashing water on me. You could not stop me from looking fierce. Guys, I'm literally dipping this. Do you guys see that? I'm dipping the whole thing into the container. Yeah. Getting as much powder as I can. And just you just want to smack this out of your face. Yes. It is not moving. Don't forget, underneath. Because I work so hard to conceal this beard. I know what you all are doing. You look crazy. You look amazing, crazy. not crazy. So next, for my brows, even my eyelids are full coverage. Like, trust Hold on. I'm still doing the powder. This is the part that I was excited for. I was like, how can one wear so much powder? And I'm scared because my eyebrows, I don't want to touch them because they're healing. How can one wear so much powder? We shall see. So right now he's carving out his brows with um, a foundation, which I would normally do, but again, I just got my eyebrows microbladed, so they're like still kind of sore, so I don't want to like put any crazy makeup on them. So I'm going to skip over this step. Do I look pretty? Okay, so he just did some eye makeup off camera, so I'm going to quickly do the same. So I'm using 
actually my original palette today because I don't have a newer one up here. I'm using the purple shade, the darker mauve, because it looks like he has like a pretty mauve eyeshadow on. So I'm just using a big brush to blend it also. My palette will be gone I think in like one month and I know I, we've been saying it forever but it's literally almost gone forever so if you guys did want to pick it up from BH again it's gonna once it sells out it's gone forever which is so sad. So I'm just applying the second highlight shade right onto my lid. I'm gonna keep it pretty similar to his. I'm gonna use the darkest plum color and apply that just right into the crease. I've never had this much powder on my face in my life, so I'm so curious to see how it's gonna look. But I have faith in you, Patrick. I know you won't steer me wrong. I have powder literally everywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with some liner. This is close. minutes to do my eye makeup, so I'm just gonna dust this all off. By now, it should be cemented. So next, I'm gonna take my Chanel Loose Powder number three. I'm going to take this, and I'm gonna have that. So I think he wiped it off and then went in with the Chanel. Let's see. Every time I go over this bump, it's like, ow! I know it's another loose powder, but this one has a tint. It's gonna take away the white cast. Ooh. I sweat so much and I am so oily, I use a lot of powder. If you're a performer, if you're in the theater, powders will be your best <laughs> friend. So, so using right a now. similar technique to pouncing your face with a powder puff and powder is the best for you. If I want like a more sheer, do you see the pigment on that? If I want a more sheer coverage, I will just buff it in. But mainly on my cheeks, I like to just dab. Mm -hmm. And the brush yeah. that I'm using is the Morphe E41. It's a big fluffy brush. On my forehead, I like to just brush it along because I have a lot of expression. I don't want to dab powder on there. Just pass it down the nose, right in between the brows, and right here on the forehead. So we're doing the powder lighter one. I'm gonna spray some setting spray on my life because I need it. So my skin actually looks really good. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't look like too powdery. I'm gonna finish up um, like he did off camera um, but I'll stay on because so I didn't cream contour my nose like I always do because he didn't. So I'm going to go in with a tapered blending brush and the color Princess Cut from this palette. And I'm just going to contour my nose a bit because I don't feel the same without it. To bronze up, I'm going to be using the color Angle. The struggle is real, I tell ya. Look, you can kind of not see my bump anymore. Although it definitely reflects some light, but I really want to like fill in my brows a little bit more, but I can't. And I'm going to highlight the nose. I'm going to add a little bit of blush. Honestly, I was scared when it was like my face looked super, super white, but he knows what he's doing. We're going to do some mascara. And I'm going to apply that same purpley shade under my eyes. For bottom mascara, I'm just going to apply a little bit of powder so I don't smear it. Ow. For lips, this looks like the color. Similar. And for highlighter, same color. And if you guys have my newer palette, this is the bigger shade on the top left, I believe. There's like two long shades. It's the one that's a little bit more peachy looking. Champagne. There's one gold and one champagne. I forget which, which one's which. The finished foundation routine. I hope you guys learned a lot of tips and tricks. This is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. When you see all that powder, it's so intimidating, especially for someone with like kind of dry skin. I'm either super oily or I'm super dry. There's like no in between for me, but I'm so excited that I tried out this video. Thank you, Patrick, for sharing all of your knowledge here on YouTube. If you guys are not subscribed to Patrick, I suggest 
you go check him out. He is amazing and he has such great content out there. I had so much fun doing this tutorial today. It was really cool to follow along with another YouTuber because I don't think I've really ever done that before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much again for 6 million subscribers here on YouTube. I love you guys so much and if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe by clicking the link down below and then click that bell to get post notifications every time I post which is every Wednesday and Sunday and occasionally Monday. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and until next time I'll see you guys later.